feels like inflammation. That's what it feels like. And with the weather too, certain certain weather, uh, cloudy weather, I don't know, um, different pressures in the air, I'd get headaches. For 30 days, not a headache. Even during the keto flu, not a headache. So that's cool. Those are the three things. So we have allergies, no bloating, and a flatter stomach, and um, no headaches. That's really cool. So next, I'm gonna go through introducing my foods, and last, I'll show you my blood results. So again, if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, all the links are below, all the great links to all these cool playlists and what we do here on Depression to Expression. It's all available in the description. But um, I was craving donuts. Carb withdrawal is a real thing. And, you know, people get hangry, and maybe people before their morning coffee, they're less, they're, they're impatient, and they're not fun to be around. That's carb withdrawal, man. Like, I, I was fiending for a little bit. I, I was pissed off. I was really mad about having to eat so much at the beginning. But, let me tell you, the one thing I wanted more than anything was a donut. I wanted a donut, and I haven't had one yet. But what I have introduced, slowly but surely, is my, ketogen bleh, bleh, bleh. my ketogenic diet was different than most because most people stick on the dairy because dairy's great for fat. Bunch of cheaters. But I didn't do dairy. I didn't. I had no fruit. Not a single fruit. This was meat and veggies. That's it. That's it. Oils, of course. Oils were huge. And water. No coffee either. No bullet coffees. No butter in my... Co uh, my uh, coffee, none of that, because that's a big thing with keto as well, doing the bullet coffees, nothing. So what I wanted to introduce first was fruit. I first had a plum, waited a day. Had a banana and a peach, waited two more days. No reaction. So, good news, those three fruits, like I miss bananas. I, I would have a banana every single day, at least two bananas. And uh, no reaction whatsoever. Fruit, A-OK. -okay. Second, beer. I had a beer and no reaction whatsoever. I waited a few days, right? Um, the taste was delicious. I'm trying to think of what beer I actually had. Oh, geez. It was at the wedding. It was a Sleeman. It was a Sleeman. Yes, I could have chosen a cool Ontario craft brew or something from Toronto. Uh, it was a Sleeman. But it was delicious. It was delicious. And it was at a wedding, so maybe I, I sweat, I danced, I had lots of food. Um, I didn't eat carbs there during the meal, but the beer, success. So we're at fruit, beer, A-OK. -okay. Haven't had a bagel or any bread or anything whatsoever. But the other thing I did have um, was, oh wait, let me just think. Oh, right. Sorry, the bread, that was just a lie. I had a burger um, with the bun. Burger with the bun. And phone, please. And no reactions whatsoever. Um, didn't feel groggy. Didn't feel any adverse effects. Um, I know what you're thinking. Like, yeah, maybe I would have if I did this maybe for a two-month period or three months. Like, do 90 days and then go back to the original diet. Um, but I was definitely in ketosis, man. Like, oh, it was the best feeling when I woke up one morning and wasn't starving. That happened at around day 26, 27. I woke up and I wasn't starving. Like, I would get up in the morning and I'd be in pain because I'd be so hungry. And after like, you know, three weeks, I, I wasn't starving. That was a great feeling. But, so I was definitely...